those are going to be Panziera, Buran, is it Ustinova, is it Graf, is it Menzing? They all could potentially be winners here. Actually, watching the semifinals, I would say Panziera and Burian are a lot stronger than the other ones. Both of them holding back, still clocking the fastest two times. Now you know, this is a final, so let's see what pressure does with these athletes. That's Africa Zamorano from Spain. Then Darina Zavina, former short course world champion of this event. Silver medalist two years ago in London. Anastasia Abdeyeva, European junior champion. And in lane seven from Russia. Then Lisa Graf, one of the fastest this year, finished fourth four years ago at the European Championships in Berlin. Compatriot Jenny Menzing, silver medalist from six years ago, and was fifth at the World Championships five years ago. Now here's the other swimmer who has gone sub 2.07 before. And there's the Daria Mustinova, finished fourth at the Olympic Games, just missing out on the medals. Then Kathleen Burian with a huge personal best and a very, very easy and convincing swim, both in the heats and in the semis. Just like Margarita Panziera from Italy, she was bronze medalist at the short course Europeans, and was a semi finalist last year at the World Championships. And Panziera and Burian also featured in the final of the 100 meters, but both of them are better over 200 meters, and both of them look really, really strong. And what a great early birthday present it could be for Panziera, 23 in three days' time. And the fastest qualifying time it was uh, very close to her personal best, about 11 and 100 outside at 207.16. As I mentioned, there's only one swimmer in this field that has been 206. That's Daria Ustinova of Russia in lane number three. She wasn't quite in that form in the heats or the semi-finals, but maybe she can pull it out in the final. We'll wait and see, because again, there's no obvious favorite for this one. The European Championship record stands to the great Kristina Agersagi ever since 1991, the longest lasting European Championship record. You weren't even born, which is fantastic. So the 200 backstroke for women may not start to really show its true colors until we get to the second half of the race, but Ustinova's away quickly. And so is Anastasia Avdeyeva, so the two Russians up in front, but yes, let's wait and see for the second 100 meters. Let's see how Ustinova plays this, see how the others play it. Remember Panziera is quickest, she finished with a bit of a burst yesterday and may well be in the mix at the turn. She's not just in the mix, she's leading the mix. Wow, what a fast first 50 meters. Eight tenths of a second faster than her time from the semis. So she wants to pull away so that Burian cannot hold on to her and will get enough advantage for the second 100 meters. But Burian, well, she is getting closer. That is Panziera from Burian from Justinova. Intriguing as they reach the 100 stage of this. Are they inside European record split? Yes, they are by a quarter of a second, Panziera from Burian, from Ustinova, from Graf. Now our front runner is trying to make this all happen with everybody else trying to chase her now. Can she hold on or are they going to start to come back? Ustinova's got a little bit left in the tank, it would seem. Nobody in the outside lanes is pushing, so it's all happening centrally here in the 200 backstroke. Let's see how that European record looks with 50 meters to go. Here we go. Just outside and more than half a second ahead of Ustinova for this final 50 meters. There comes Pantiera and also Burian and Ustinova trying to catch the Italian. Very brave way to swim it. It might right 
be the right way to swim it. She might possibly end up as the winner. And just trying to close in now is Ustanova, but she's given herself not enough time. I don't think the Italian is way too strong in lane number four, and Pantiero will take it in 32.10. That championship record that we talked about, long last, hooray, hallelujah, <laughs> has gone. Second place is Ustanova. Buran in third place. It has been on the books for way too long. And I'm sure that uh, going to be going, thank you very much. The sport is moving on. My record has gone. And Panziera is the one who has claimed it in a 2.06.18. And she's won that by nearly a second. Do you know what? That was an incredibly brave way to swim that. Absolutely. So normally she has good back end speed. She's very strong over the second 100 meters. But she went out really strong over the first 50. And never looked back. Well, she did. She's doing much stroke, <laughs> but apart from that, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> She's looking back all the time, you know, you're fine. Uh, Pantiera, our winner by, I say, almost a second over Ustanova. Burian in third. Lisa Graf relegated to fourth place. Avdieva in fifth. Yeah, that was a terrific way to swim it. If you see a swimmer be as brave as that, then they deserve all they get. And Pantiera got just precisely what she did deserve. That is the gold medal for Italy. Ustanova in second place for Russia and the Hungarian Burian in third place. Two you know what? The record of Christina Agasagi was already four years old when this lady was born. So, a huge personal best for Margarita Panziera. And she loves this occasion. And we love her too. Terrific stuff. Really good. Another, another medal for the Italians. Just keep doing it. Italy, Russia, Hungary, and Germany in fourth place in the 200 backstroke for women. So they are there as of right, justifiably. The top nation, Great Britain, will claim second place. In fact, we'll have a quick look at the top of that. Italy should be in third place. They are. Hungary four. France didn't win anything other than, or they did get a silver in there, yes they did, but uh, the majority of their medals were, were gold, it seemed. And Sweden in sixth position, but we could also say Sjöström in sixth position, yes, because exactly. she, was, she was the only medal winner from Sweden. Yeah, she did the job for them, and would have had a chance maybe to add to that had they got into the final tonight. paolo has got one more job to perform, as uh, then president here. And handshake to Joe Fitzpatrick from the Scottish Ministry for Public Health. And here comes the presentation for the women's 200 meters backstroke final. And third place to Kathleen Burian of Hungary. Setting a new personal best but missing her target after those easy swims in the heats and the semi-finals. I think she was aiming for more than that. It's a medal. And, uh, her first ever medal at senior level. Well deserved. Can be toy to take home as well. Russia with second place with Daria Ustinova, who uh, just on a couple of occasions during the course of that race, certainly the way she started, you're thinking, well, she might just be the one today. And she started strongly, she finished strongly, just didn't quite keep her momentum in the middle of that race. Otherwise, we could be looking at her up on the gold medal platform rather than the silver. 207.12 for our winner, Daria Ustinova. But an important landmark for this young lady. Look at that time. It's uh, very important to be up on your screen the moment for Margarita Banzier. And she has managed to, at last, knock something off that's been a long time in coming. A record that's been stubborn on the books. They've tried everything to remove it, but it <laughs> stayed there until she came along. And now she has the new championship record in the 200 backstroke. 27 years on from Christina Agasegui's <laughs> European title and championship record. Oh, it's that anthem again. Shut up.
to tell you in the media area, the commentary boxes here, it was the French who were leading the Italian hand claps there, getting everybody else involved, a bit of entente cordiale <laughs> from our colleagues across the way. They look at the Italians who hadn't burst into life at that point, so they just encouraged them a bit. So terrific stuff as ever. Reverberating around Glasgow, the Italian national anthem for Margarita Manziera, who has done something very momentous here by getting that new championship record, removing the very old championship record, and uh, with a huge smile to match. In terms of international waters, this time of hers, the 206 something, well, that is second fastest only to Kai the Mass this year. Yeah, so some good times this week. The rest of the world will be taking note. They uh, certainly will be across what's happening at the European Championships, and there'll be some uh, eyebrows raised at some of the times going, wow, it's quick. Not all of them, there have been some relatively slow events, but uh, the ones that have been quick have been very quick. Ben Proud's 21-1-1, for example, in the 53, right up in the pantheon of that event. But, uh, just to say, looking across what's happening in terms of this, the nations who are getting back on track, Germans aren't quite there yet. Uh, they had years and years of dominance in the 80s and 90s, not quite back to where they were. Italians are certainly returning to where they are uh, and were for a few years. Great Britain went through that real doldrum stage the uh, back end of the 90s, early part of the 2000s, and then suddenly Barcelona 2003, the World Championship, they got nine medals, and people saying, okay, and then a very bad Olympic Games, and then a very bad World Championships, and it was everybody back in the doldrums again. But uh, I think it's pretty surefire now from the last three Europe.